What's up guys and thanks for tuning in. All right, today's the day we finally get to tear into that Duramax engine to figure out what exactly went wrong with it. So let's not waste time talking about anything else. Let's get right to it. As you can see, I finished removing the valve covers and the intake manifolds. Uh, I'm not sure if the camera was on when I removed the um, uh, the Y bridge. I completely forgot to turn the camera back on, or not my camera, uh, but my phone. Uh, anyhow, so I'm having an issue. Uh, this injector right here and this injector over here does not want to come out. They're literally like seized in there. I've tried, uh, you know, I, I put a screw, a flathead screwdriver in there, try to pry it out. Um, that's not working. I, you know, I don't, I don't want to put any more stress on it because I'm afraid I'll break it and then I'll really be in a hole. So um, I squirted some, I squirted some WD-40 in there. Hopefully it'll be enough to, you know, I don't know, hopefully maybe break it loose or something. Uh, but I'm gonna have to do some research to see what I can do to go ahead and remove that. Because without removing that injector, I cannot remove the uh, the upper valve covers and I cannot remove the uh, cylinder heads. Uh, the reason why is because, well, the outer bolts right here, um, you know, they're accessible. But the other bolts, um, I don't know if you can see, there's a bolt right, right in there. Um, yeah, right between the rocker arms. So, and there's also other bolts right over there. Uh, those have to be removed in order to uh, go ahead and get the cylinder head off. So I'm kind of stuck right now. Uh, so let me go ahead and do some research, see how I can get that inject, uh, get those injectors off, um, and then we'll come back. All right, so I literally have been at this for at least three hours. I, I cannot get these injectors out. Um, I don't know. I, I guess they really must be seized in there. Um, I mean, the only thing that I can think of is, is the O-ring just melted and it's, you know, I mean, that's the only thing I can think of because there, I don't think there's anything really contacting. I think the O-ring just seals, um, I think goes between the, uh, uh, the head and the uh, injector. So, I mean, I don't know what else could be holding it, but I mean, I've tried sticking a pry bar um, uh, under the injector retainer, the aluminum injector retainer, trying to pry it up that way. I mean, I've, I've really, you know, just really, you know, try to get in there, you know, and just put a lot of weight on there and, and you know, those things aren't budging. So, um, I don't know how I'm going to get those things out. Um, I don't know if I'm just going to have to either just break them apart, um, just enough to be able to get the, uh, uh, 
the upper valve, I'm sorry, the lower valve cover off just so I can get access to the head bolts. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna have to do that, um, but I mean, I, I really don't wanna have to do that because I don't wanna risk damaging anything else. So, um, I don't know. I'm gonna uh, see if I can um, uh, contact a few other uh, LLY uh, um, you know, owners, uh, you know, seeing if they ever ran across this issue. But again, it's number uh, one, two, uh, number, Five and number two cylinders are the ones that have the injector seized in them. All the other ones came out fine, you know, with just, you know, a little persuasion, but nothing major. They came right out. These ones, for whatever reason, they're really stuck on there, you know. And again, I don't want to, you know, at this point, I don't want to risk damaging anything else. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of, you know, take a step back, you know, do a little research and see, you know, what I can come up with. All right. Um... It sucks, you know, because th this isn't what I wanted, you know, I mean, this weekend I at least wanted to get the heads off and take a look at those pistons, you know, seeing how, you know, how bad the damage was. Um, I wanted to take the block out and put it on my engine stand to start, you know, tearing into it. But, I mean, I guess it's not going to happen this weekend. Um, it sucks, but, you know, it is what it is. So, all right. So until, I guess, next week, guys. Have a good one.